My name is Simon Roberts, I'm a British photographer based in Brighton. I'm going to be showing the election project as part of the photo fringe at the uh, Brighton Biennale. Um, I was commissioned early this year by the House of Commons to produce a body of work around the general election in 2010. Uh, every election for the last two elections, the House of Commons have commissioned a different form of artist to create a body of work that responds to the election. The first time in 2001 it was a painter called Johnny Yeo, then it was a satirical draftsman called David Gombold. And this time they wanted to commission a photographer. Um, and after a, a kind of uh, a commissioning process, I was selected and spent a month during the election traveling the country, producing a series of these large format landscape photographs, which you can see behind me, um, which are going to be exhibited first off at the House of Commons, at the House of Parliament in uh, September, and then the first public display will actually be um, in Brighton. So here you kind of get a sense of how I was approaching the subject. So I was always trying to get a position from the roof of the motorhome, so every picture has a kind of perspective almost from a bird's eye position. So by having a slightly raised elevation, you're able to look over the scene and it really kind of starts opening up the photograph. So this was the one day that I spent with Gorm Brown and kind of rather fortuitously, it was the event with uh, Gillian Duffy. So I got to the position a lot earlier than the press. I parked up, managed to persuade the security because uh, there's a lot of kind of, um, you know, the private security of Gordon Brown were around and they were very nervous, but managed to persuade them to let me stay there, park on the motorhome, get on the roof, set up the 5-4 camera, and then Gordon Brown turns up with the press, um, and basically what he's doing is he's um, being interviewed here by the 1 o'clock BBC 1 o'clock news, and then at that moment, Gillian Duffy walks down, stands here, and then she starts shouting um, for Gordon Brown, which is when here you can see the the camera crew start pointing their camera at Gillian Duffy. And then here you have Sue Nye, who's Gordon Brown's press secretary, coming over to try and keep her quiet. Um, so this is kind of the genesis of that whole event. So moments later, Gordon Brown was brought next to her and they started the conversation. Then of course, he gets into the car, drives off and is recorded calling her a, a bigger. And then that, this kind of huge event then unfolds as a result, as a result of that. Um, you know, the media then go from here and camp outside Gillian Duffy's house. But for me it's fascinating kind of being with this photograph actually showing the kind of kernel, if you like, the starting point of how it all began, you know, so it's as much about the landscape. So you've got the towpath which is leading you into the photograph. You've got the probation officers here and you've got the ex-convicts that are clearing the towpath. So this was a, a set-up news event for Gordon Brown to visit. So here you have the little, you know, the press pen. You've got the private security with the kind of earpieces, and over here, you know, hiding the gun. Then you've kind of got the onlookers with their mobile phones filming the event. And then you've kind of got the architecture of this part of Rochdale. So there's a bigger kind of tableau photograph. You have all these elements which individually all help you understand the picture and the position. Um, and it's a kind of snapshot of the election, but it's as much about the, the kind of landscape of Britain at this particular point in time. So briefly, what I was doing, I was interested in looking more at the more obliquely at the election process rather than just following the three leaders and photographing these kind of very orchestrated, choreographed news events. I wanted to try and look at the smaller parties, some of the marginal constituencies, and actually look at the mundane reality of what it means to be um, canvassing during the election. So for example, this picture um, is actually um, Esther Ransom, who you can see here. Uh, she was running as an independent in Luton South, running uh, initially against Margaret Moran, who was a Labour Party candidate that was caught up in the sleaze scandal. Um, Margaret Moran actually pulled out um, and didn't run, but Esther Ransom continued to, uh, to campaign. And I just really like this picture. It gives you a sense of the geographical space. It's a very kind of Middle England scene. You've got these 
um, middle class post-war houses, you've got the, the caravan taking up most of this garden, you've got the tulips, the lovely kind of spring summer morning, and then here you've got Esther's campaign team with all their rosettes on, and then this, this couple have come out of their house and are talking to Esther and kind of looking at her in this kind of almost sycophantic way, you know, the, 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 uh, the TV celeb turned um, politician. Um, so I think it's a kind of really interesting snapshot of a particular uh, um, campaign activity which gives you as much a sense of um, England or Britain as it does the actual kind of political process.